I first heard about this and I thought oh how intriguing 24th of September and it just uh, reminded me of a very key date and when I went back to check out that date I discovered it just happens to be seven years precisely to the very day that everybody is concerned about this um, event that is going to take place on the 24th of September so this might help us to figure out what it is I actually don't know Robert I've, I have no idea um, directly I don't have any inside information but I can try and um, present information that might help us to shed some light on we might be able to add some more pieces of the puzzle and it might all come together for us um, so it just so happens that seven years prior to this date as you can see there brings us back to this significant date here of the Pope going to the US Congress where he presented the New World Religion. So that would have been the 24th of September 2015. 15, exactly. That was the exact date that he went. I have checked the date and this is the date that everyone's worried about. But the question is why is everyone worried about it? Well if we turn over to the screen here we'll read a, um, a statement here about what has spurned this concern is Frederick Merz, the German opposition leader, head of the CDU CSU Alliance, spoke in support of the government and gave this grave um, statement. This 24th September 2022 is going to be a day which we will remember and we're going to say about this day in the future that I remember where I was when I got the news of the war in Ukraine. Now he um, specifies the war in Ukraine but people have taken this statement and said there's a big biblical size event coming now what we what we can deduce so far from what we know about this is that this date here just happens to be the 29th of Alal now the 29th of Alal everyone's going to go okay what's the 29th of Alal well on the Hebrew calendar or what is known today as the Jewish calendar Alal is the sixth month their months are determined by the moon and the 29th of Alal is like the very last day of the year for them because the very next day they celebrate what is known as Rosh Hashanah which is what they the, it's the first day of the seventh month but they also consider it the beginning of their new year and this day um, begins the holy seventh month the holy seventh month begins with the feast of trumpets and then the day of atonement and then the feast of tabernacles and so what even though that's all very religious what um, Jonathan Kahn, the New York Times best-selling author, has discovered, and he's written a book about it called the Shemitah, he's discovered that every seven years there's a um, a commandment in the law to keep the seventh year as a rest year just like we're commanded to keep the seventh day as a rest year and also there's a commandment to keep the seventh Shemitah as a holy year which is the Jubilee and what he has discovered as I've got written here on this day on the 29th of Elul in 2001, 2008 and 2015 the stock market crash has occurred so this is truly incredible and his book the Shemitah is truly mind-blowing um, I'm only sharing one tiny little piece of information but his book is full of extraordinary um, uh, indications that there's something enormous going on and now we just happen to be seven years after the last Shemitah year which means that there's going to be a crash there will be a crash we know that for sure and this will explain why the Vatican are recalling all of their money from the entire Roman Catholic Church institution all over the world to come into the Vatican Bank by the 20, by the 30th of September. So economic collapse is clearly on the cards and what is of concern is that they always have planned to cover this final economic collapse with war and so 
the concern that there's going to be some biblical kind of catastrophe that occurs on this date I mean it could be I think an economic collapse will be mild in comparison with the things that could potentially happen um, could there be a nuclear attack we've noticed that um, um, Putin is really ramping up the um, the war uh, he's beating the war drum and he is saying that um, he's now at war with the West not just with the Ukraine and he's align aligning with China um, where will things go you know he's becoming more and more aggressive um, so could there be a nuclear attack um, at the same time there's talk of ast incoming asteroids um, this um, thing called DART is being deployed which is an acronym that stands for something to do I'm sorry I can't remember off the top of my head but something to do with um, trying to prevent asteroids from um, impacting on earth um, and then we have this prophecy in Revelation, Revelation 13 that says that America will bring down fire from heaven as a false miracle to deceive to, deceive, to kick off the mark of the beast agenda which is what we're moving into right now we're moving into the mark of the beast territory which they've given the title of the great reset and the great reset really i think is a term that could be used to describe a jubilee which is in fact what we're facing i'll, I'll just turn around here which is what we are what it looks like we're facing this year in 2022 of course there's many many um, details and factors that need to be considered so I don't want to say that with absolute certainty at this point I had understood that it would be occurring in 2023 but I've just having read this book here 120 Jubilees why 2023 may be the end of days I have just um, noticed that it's possible he hasn't actually um, minus a year for the transition between BC dates and AD dates so it could be 22 it could be 22 and when you think about the way a jubilee year plays out a jubilee happens on the 49th year <clears throat> so I'll just explain this here um, it happens on the 49th year so it's declared on the 49th year and the 50th year which is the first year of the next cycle is the Jubilee year but it begins in the 49th year so it could very well be happening this year I'm just kind of giving everyone a heads up if that's the case what happens in a Jubilee year is that um, liberty the trumpet is blown and liberty is proclaimed to all of the inhabitants um, but we've got to understand that we're dealing with some very evil people here who've got a plan to take the whole world into captivity and they always do the opposite so they will be trying to bring everyone into total captivity to do the very opposite um, the idea of the um, return of everyone to their homeland, the return of all the belongings back to the people that would take place on the Jubilee. This was all a good thing but the enemy turns this all around for bad so very likely we'll see an economic co um, collapse that will bring everyone into slavery of some kind. Will this bring the start of the digital economic system? Will this be a collapse, a crash of our current economic system that includes cash and will it usher in the great reset this is the question that i would like to pose i don't have um, a definitive answer but i think there's some very significant signs that are warning